Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll guide you with the installation and configuration of PHP My Admin on Windows device. So make sure that you've already installed a web server, MySQL server, as well as PHP on your device. If it's not the case, check out my tutorial, install and configure them before you continue with this PHP My Admin tutorial. Now let's download PHP My Admin from its official site. Type it in here and then click on this link. Click on download. The latest version is 5.1.1. Open it with WinRAR or WinZip and then after downloading it, extract the file into the root path C so that it's easier for you to find the folder. So just simply remove this one and then confirm with OK. So after extracting it, we have to open an explorer, navigate to the root path C, and there it is our PHP My Admin 5.1.1 All Languages folder. The content should be transferred into Apache where our local server is located. So we have to open Apache and the htdocs folder, open it as well. And then we create a new folder and we name it PHP My Admin. Now let's go back to root C and then Open PHP My Admin All Languages and copy all the content in this folder using Select All, copy the data, and then go to the Apache folder, open it, and then htdocs folder, open it as well, and then PHP My Admin folder and copy all the data into this PHP My Admin folder that we have just created. So after copying it, we have to go back to the root path C. And then delete this folder, which we have my admin all languages to avoid confusion. Now let's go back again to the Apache and then htdocs, open it and then PHP my admin folder and look for config.sample.inc, rename this into config.inc. You can remove sample between config and inc, which should be config.inc. So after renaming it, open the file. So on the line bluefish underscore secret, type in alphanumeric characters, 32 characters long. You can enter any letters and any numbers you would like to type in. It's only for a cookie authentic authentication. So there it is. If you scroll down, we can also change this control user and control plus, but we will go back later. So let's save this file. And now we open our PHP folder and then open php.ini and then we will find extension underscore the IR. We will enable this extension. There it is. Just remove the semicolon in front of extension and then type in the path of the PHP folder slash extension. In my case, it is found on C. 
slash php slash extension and now next we have to find extension equals to curl we have also to activate we have to activate this library so let's remove this semicolon in front of extension the next one is the embed string and then my sql enable it as well and the last one is the open ssl so after enabling all these extensions that we needed for our php my admin save the file so let's minimize this one and now we have to open the windows services and then restart apache server and then the next one restart my sql server now open a browser and type in here localhost slash php my admin and then this time we will call the index.php hit enter and you will see the landing page of php my admin so now let's change this control user into root we need to log in into php my admin so change this to root it's the one we assign on the mysql and then the assigned password on mysql in my case i assigned my test it could be different password on your part and then save the file and as usual we have to open the windows services and then restart the apache server as well as restart mysql server So look for MySQL, there it is, and then restart it again. And refresh the site. So now, if we look at this file, root and my test, we have to use it in our login. So root, and then the password you assigned on your MySQL hit go and now we have to do something we have to import our tables we have to create tables we have to import it from our sql folder so we have to browse and go to c root tab and apache folder open it and then htdocs folder and then php my admin and then open SQL folder and there it is, create tables. We have to import this one into PHP my admin and so and then click go. So now it's imported into PHP my admin and after doing it, you have to enable all the storage database and tables on the config.inc file just remove this double slash comment line from top to bottom 
remove it by removing it you are going to enable the function of this configuration so just a little bit more lines so we're almost done and then after removing all the comment we have to save it so since we made changes we have all to, also to log off first and then we have to open the windows services again and as usual restart the server apache and then we have also to restart mysql server So, and then refresh this one and we can enter our password, we can log in to our phpMyAdmin and so it's a success. You can create database and tables, whatever you want to create for your database, it's ready to use. So, we have to log off here. I will show you something else. Close this one. So, if you open a browser and you type in localhost and slash phpMyAdmin, and if you hit enter, it will show index of phpMyAdmin, so it's not quite right. So, if you click on index.php, this landing page will show up PHP. So, in order to, to use phpMyAdmin without using index, you have to do something. Go to the root path C, open Apache folder, then config folder, and then the HTTPD folder. And click on edit, find the directory index. Type in here directory index. So find it, there it is. And as you can see, directory index, index.html, you have to insert index.php on this line and then save the file. So, and then as you swell the service, restart the Apache. So if we close this browser and then open a new one, type in localhost slash php and then hit enter. So you will notice that the landing page of my php show up without using index.php. So we can log in here with root and then our assigned password with our MySQL password and hit go. And as you can see, we are ready to create our database and tables and whatever project you are thinking about to create, you can use your MySQL using PHP MyAdmin now.